Wednesday, the 8th of December. So tell me, what do you like? It can be anything at all. What do you like? Well, I'm trying to think. For me, I would say going to the cinema, going to the theatre. I like eating. I like being with my family. I like being in church. I like being in company. I think I'm a very sociable person. So that's just some of the basic likes that I have. But what do you like in life? If you could just name your top three, what would they be? Well, last night I was in Glasgow and I was at the theatre, something that I really like doing. And of course, my favourite all-time musical is Le Miserable. And I've seen that now, as of last night, 26 times live on stage. I just, uh, I really, really like it. Uh, but what is it that I like about it? Well, is it the story? Well, I'm not too sure if it is the story because it's quite a sad story. Um, I like the music. I like the words of the songs. I like probably the staging of it because it's not something that you would normally see in a, a, a big blockbuster musical like that. So, yeah, there's lots I do like about it. Anyway, it's my favourite and I thoroughly enjoyed it. <clears throat> and of course, I've seen it 26 times now. I have the 10th and 25th anniversary editions of it on DVD. Of course, I also have the film, the movie that was made for, for it. And I have a couple of t-shirts with Le Mis on it. I have a keyring, etc., etc., etc. Name that musical. Did you get it? The King and I. That was it. Well done. So <clears throat> last week we were watching our grandson, as we do every Tuesday. And well, our little special jaunt most Tuesdays now is we go along that road to McDonald's for our lunch. And even from a very young age, I mean, he's only three, but even from a much, much younger age, he instantly recognised that big M that McDonald's have outside their stores, their shops, their restaurants, that big M. And even at a young age, he could identify that that was McDonald's. So he likes his chicken nuggets, he likes his chips, he likes the toy, and of course the box that you get it all in. You see him opening up the box and then pulling out, and he usually pulls the toy out first and looks at that, and then out come the rest of it. And of course, ketchup. Everything has to have ketchup, whether at home or out for a meal. So, I said he really likes all of these things. Now, Billy, Billy likes football. I would say most football. He always keeps an eye out on what most teams are doing, watches it on TV often. But the team he likes the most is Manchester United. Mind you, the amount of times that I hear him shouting at that TV screen, I wonder just how much he actually likes them. Mm. And I know he really likes Ronaldo. He thinks he's a star, a star player. Elizabeth in the church. Well, you know Elizabeth normally plays our piano for us. Well, Elizabeth likes cooking, baking, and of course, music. And she loves to host gatherings. Esther, well, she likes making craft goods. And of course, baking as well. Doug R and Ian B, well, they like wood turning. Not something I could do, but they really like it. Irene D, she likes the Boys Brigade. And Karen K likes the Guiding Association. Karen L, she likes languages and likes her interaction with Zuglo Church. Muriel, well, she likes organising and working in the shop and likes to see her grandchildren dancing and playing their musical instruments. Jean S, she likes to sing in the choir and likes classical music. Matthew and George uh, F like cars. 
really, and, and sometimes similar cars, but also different types of cars. They really like cars. Bob K, he likes drama and Robert Burns. Bob T, he likes his garden, flowers, fruit and veg. Angus likes project management, hill walking, cycling, dancing, and especially with Linda. Alf and John like entertaining and like playing their guitars and singing. Glenda R likes Monroe bagging and babysitting. And the other Glenda R likes art. And Marion and Anne W like the guild. That's just a touch of some of the people in the church who have likes. I could have kept going and going and going. Now, I must admit, I really don't like football. It's the noise, all this, um, all this screaming and all the players that just seem to fall on the ground for no reason and roll over and oh, oh, yeah, all a bit dramatic, for goodness sake, grow up. And then, of course, I don't really like cars either. I can't identify really one car from the next. Um, so I don't really like anything to do with cars, unless, of course, it's watching Formula One. I really don't like hill walking. And if you were to ask any person all their likes and dislikes in this life, well, aren't we so glad that we all have different likes and dislikes? But the one thing that all these people that I have mentioned to you today have in common with their likes is that they like coming to church. They like hearing about God, about Jesus and about the Holy Spirit. And they like putting their faith into action. They like being part of a faith community. So what is it that attracts us to such diverse likes in our lives? Well, certainly for my grandson, it's that, uh, the, the little box that they get with their toy and their food in it. That's the like for McDonald's for him. But many people, Many people like coming to church at Christmas, especially here in Forfar, and especially to the Christingle service, which of course is Christmas Eve at half past six in the evening. And if you're coming along, remember, wear your Christmas jumper. Now, what is it that, I, that it is about the Christingle service that people like? Is it a tradition, maybe? They like the family tradition of coming every year, because we do get that. Most of our people are returnees. They always come to the Christingle service. Is it because they like the, the liveliness of it, the fun, the games, the laughter? Because it is a very upbeat and uplifting service telling the story of Jesus's birth. And like that, also the other service that's very popular is our Easter day service. So why is it people like coming to the Easter day service? Well, for the children, I'm absolutely sure it's the Easter egg hunt. Well, I think, don't think there's anything else there for that. But, but why do people come, especially at Christmas and at Easter? What do they like about these services that we don't seem to attract and do for them the rest of the year? Church and a life of faith can be fun. It can be full of laughter. And at other times, well, it can be... A lamenting time, it can be a preparation time, a thinking time, a sorrowful time. It's all in there. The church is here for all people at all stages in their life. So how are you going to find that out if you don't come along? So I would like for you to come along and see what's happening at Eastern Old. But for me, the best thing, I like to see Jesus in the people that I meet. God bless everyone.